retrospectors. What's up guys? We're doing Sega Rally Netlink and guess what? I got the arcade racing wheel. There's something about the Sega Saturn that it just makes me want to just break out my wallet and just buy a bunch of peripherals. And this thing is pretty sick because it has a switch in the back where I can adjust the angle of it like this. And I can also change the height. I honestly didn't even know that it had these features when I bought it. But, uh, oh, it also has this little like base where you're supposed to like kind of shove it in your crotch and sit on it pretty much. And it's pretty good. I think like the original, like, you know, it's supposed to come with like suction cups on the bottom, but mine, you know, I bought a used one off of eBay. I got it for like 60 bucks with free shipping. And I thought that was like a really good deal. So I was like, okay. And it works really good. There's like, I guess a little bit of dead zone, Sega if you want to call it that. Like, but uh, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. And uh, I love this thing, but uh, it's just not for Sega Rally. It's just not. It's just hard. It's just hard. I'm not saying it's like impossible. It's just I, you really got to practice this, and it's not. It doesn't come that easy with the wheel. Like it's actually like easier with the controller. This game. But uh, I will try Daytona sometime. Daytona, I think, actually, you know, Daytona's a game I I don't like playing Three, that game with the controller. Two, like, I one, always prefer Sega Rally. Go. But uh, I think with the wheel, Daytona might be the way to go. Uh, I've been playing a lot of OutRun. That's where I've been spending a lot of my time. And it's funny because I burned so many games. Like, I burned, like, I don't know, like, like, 10 racing games on the Saturn, and, like, you know, they're all, like, 3D racers, except for OutRun. OutRun's, like, the only 2D... Well, I also downloaded, uh, Burn Power Drift, so Power Drift is not 3D, really, or kind of, you know. But, uh, yeah, OutRun's so good. I, you know, I was born in 1992, so... So I missed out on OutRun. I don't remember seeing that in the arcades. Like, I remember seeing games, like, I remember Daytona, and... House of Dead and Virtual Cop and Virtual Fighter. I remember those games when I was little. But I totally missed out on OutRun. So when I played it, it really caught me by surprise. I really knew nothing about it. I knew it was a popular Sega, for, you know, RP, uh, IP. But I never, I never played it. And wow, that game has... First of all, it's a really good game. Really beautiful game. But the music is insane. Like, I love that music. And I've been listening to uh, a lot of the remixes of these songs, like Passing Whoa. Breeze, I really like. I like Splash Wave. Right. There's the 3DS Whoa. song Cruis Cruising Line that I also really like a lot. You did right. you did well. And uh, yeah, I need to download that on my 3DS because I, I didn't even know that was on. Whoa. There was an Outrun on 3, like 3D Outrun. Whoa. Like that right. must be sick on, on the 3DS. So I'm definitely gonna download Whoa. that. I mean, right. I have a hacked 3DS, so Whoa. I'll uh, just download it for free. And uh, I'm doing really good. Like, you know, that that's... I, I did record uh, my first few matches with uh, Sega RPG Fan, but I realized, like, ooh, I'm just... I had to really, like, get in my groove because I was just crashing into the walls. I'm, like, doing surprisingly, like... <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, it's because of the Delta car. I think so. Like, when I use the Celica car, you gotta be on top. You, you better be good. You better be good at the game because it's just super sensitive. I think with the wheel, oh man, maybe I should maybe I should take back what I was saying. Unless Sega RPG fan, he's just having fun with me, and I wouldn't even be surprised if that was. He's probably right behind me. He can take me over whenever he wants. He's just having some fun. Oh, I know what he did wrong. He chose the third car. So he's probably having a really tough time. He chose the really difficult car this time. That's why I'm winning.
Uh oh, the lag spikes are coming. But yeah, Outrun uh, is extremely difficult. Um, I can't believe it. You know what? I've never played that game with the standard controller. I've only been playing with the steering wheel, so I don't know. Maybe it's easier with the controller. I don't know. But uh, holy shit. And like, you can choose an Outrun like, between very easy or easy mode or normal mode or, or, or hard mode or very hard mode. Like, if I have the difficulty on very easy or on hard mode, I still like fail at the same time. Like, I, I, like I, I'm, I can't get past, like, the second level in that game. Like, I'll always make it, like, right before the beginning of the third level, and then I just, I run out of time. Every, it doesn't matter what difficulty I'm on. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. But yeah, that game is hard, and I looked up on YouTube, and I see that there's people, people have beaten that game with the steering wheel. They have videos of it. There's people, and I just think like they're amazing. Like I, I, Outrun is really unforgiving. Like if you mess up, if you make one mistake in Outrun, you're in trouble. Like you might as well just shut your Saturn off and reset the system. That's what you get for choosing the uh, the third car. Martin Racing? Is that what that just said? I never really paid attention to what it said. But yeah, uh, I'll show you some a little bit of clips of what I was doing before, like going in from wall to wall to wall, like I was not doing good at all. So I'm actually really glad I got some footage of me not doing terrible. All right. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And uh, we're going to try some Shadows of Tusk. Will I make a video on that? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, may we might have a lot of uh, <laughs> connection problems. We might not be able to play. Who knows? But uh, that's it for this video. And uh, I, rec I do recommend that wheel. Just there's other games that you can play that are really, really good. And uh, I mean, like I said, you can get good at Sega Rally. It's just going to be hard. So uh, that's it. Bye-bye.